Hello everyone, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a magic envelope card. This is an old technique that we made many years ago and now we don't have the tool we used many years ago to make it. So I'm gonna show you how easy this is without it. This is a magic envelope card and it opens up and you can put your message right inside. Put a postage stamp on the front address your card and drop it in the mail. Let me show you how to do this. So the supplies you'll need to make a magic envelope card will include a piece of designer series paper. Now this piece is eight and a half by 11 and it comes from the Tea Room Specialty Designer Series paper. This is a little lighter weight than regular designer series paper. It's not absolutely necessary, but it does work really good. Then we've got a piece of rich razzleberry that's five and a half by four and a quarter, a layer of whisper white that is four by five and a quarter, and then a scrap of rich razzleberry. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm going to take the smallest stitched shape square and I'm going to die cut a little square out of my rich razzleberry scrap. And we'll just set that aside for right now. Then we're going to get to work on our designer series paper. The first thing that you need to do is decide which color paper or which print do you want to be on the inside and which do you want to be on the outside. And because this is such a busy print, I'm going to keep it for the inside. The outside is going to be a little less busy with the stripes. We're going to take a ruler and from the bottom right corner, we are going to measure up three and a half inches. And don't worry, this is all the measuring you're gonna have to do. I just put a little pencil mark right here. And we're going to bring in our rich razzleberry layer. Now I'm just going to eyeball this. And what I wanna do is place it right on that little pencil mark and make sure that I've got it centered here. And I want a perfect triangle at the bottom of this layer. Once you have that and it looks good, it looks like it's even, we're going to take this left side and we're gonna press it up against our rich razzleberry layer. So I'm just kind of smoothing my hand in here on the side, holding my paper down, and you're going to fold that and then burnish it with a bone folder. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. I'm kind of pressing my hand over here and we're gonna also fold that one. So you're gonna do the left side, then the right side, and then the bottom. Now this is an old fun fold from years ago when we used to have the diagonal plate for the Simply Scored. We don't sell that anymore, so it's like, gosh, how can I recreate this? This is easy, right? Now you're gonna look for your layer of cardstock in here and you're gonna to wanna to push this edge up against it, again, as tight as you can. And I'm just kinda of giving that a little bit of a push. And now you're gonna to wanna to make sure that this edge right here is lined up good with the side of your magic envelope card before you burnish it. We're gonna keep folding. This piece is gonna come down just like this. And again, we're gonna burnish it good. This little layer is really just for looks. You don't have to have this, but you would just simply, once you're done writing in your card, you're gonna put some adhesive here, and I would recommend liquid glue or tear and tape so your card doesn't pop open in the mail, and that's how you're going to close it. But just for the purposes here of letting you know where your stamp is gonna go, I'm gonna put this little piece on here, and I can put a stamp on here and glue this whole thing down, so completely up to you. The next thing I'm gonna do is bring in an Avery label and put that right on the front. I could certainly write right on this designer series paper, but I just wanted you to know that your address is gonna go here. I'm gonna put my return address up here. And now what are we gonna do with this inside? Well, we need to adhere this to the inside of our card. And I'm just going to pull this edge up so that I know I'm getting this in here where it belongs and all my fold lines will continue to work before that glue sets up. 
make sure, whoops, everything is gonna fold left, right, and then bottom. Okay, everything looks good here. And we're gonna do just a little bit of stamping. And of course, you could stamp an image and a happy birthday greeting or whatever it is that you might need. I chose to use the Love What You Do stamp set because I love the greetings in here and I needed some little flower images. I've got Memento Black ink here. And I chose the greeting that says, I'm lucky to have a friend like you. And I'm gonna use these for just all occasion writing a note to a friend. So I'm just gonna put that right in the bottom right corner. Then I'm gonna come in with some little flowers from the same stamp set and add those right up here, just a little bit of decoration in there. We're gonna put this on the inside of the card. Now we're gonna fold it back up because I would also like a little bit of decoration on the front here. So I chose one of the little sprigs. I'm just gonna add that right over here because, well, why wouldn't you, right? So I have a couple other samples to share with you. This one is also made out of the Tea Room Specialty Paper. And again, it's just gonna be for a note that I can send to a friend. And then we have this one. And again, the same greeting inside of it. These are really fun and they make for interesting mail and it's a great way to use up that designer series paper that you're hoarding so you can get more. <laughs> I hear so many times, oh, I can't get any more designer series paper. I have so much. Let's use it. Make some of these up and go get yourself some new designer series paper. Thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial today. Um, I have a lot of other great ideas on my blog at www.estampabove.com. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Bye-bye.